Next up, raffia. Everybody needs raffia. Everybody uses raffia. A lot of people have been using black electrical tape. I don't think that you can get the right pressure and enough pressure with the black electrical tape than you can with the raffia. When this stuff is wet, it is some of the hardest stuff there is to break. I mean, you can really get around a branch and torque around a branch and get it real nice and tight. Whereas you're limited to the amount of compression that you can do with electrical tape because it's designed it's a thin rubberish type of material and it bends and stretches where this stuff compresses and, and holds. So raffia, black electrical tape. I, I prefer raffia. And um, that's pretty much everything that's in my tool arsenal with the exception of a few other things. This is a sharpener, this is a tool sharpener. Got this at a home center. What it is is there is on this end here, this is high this is carbide. And what you do is you use this to sharpen the blades on your tools, mainly scissors and uh, sometimes the concave cutters and what have you. Um, I also carry a marking pin so I can mark out on a tree where I think I'm going to remove a branch in the pattern that it's going to take. Um, this is the pin that I use and uh, works really well. One other thing that I have, well of course I have a lot more than, than that, but most of the stuff's just personal preference. Um, this is the box I carry everything in. I've got an X-Acto knife here, and I have a set of diamond files. I use the diamond files also for sharpening my tools. These work really well. And I used to use these exclusively until I found the other. Um, this is some Scotch-Brite, just some green Scotch-Brite pads. This is good for removing uh, moss off branches or what have you. I use this in conjunction with WD-40 to scrub and clean my tools. This really removes any of the residues or the the um, like if you're working on a pine you get the saps and the resins. You squirt this with some WD-40 and, and scrub these and it removes everything. Makes the tools all nice and shiny and neat and clean. It's important to keep your tools clean. Um, the rest of the stuff's in here. Of course this is all a mess. I got extra concave cutters, extra scissors, etc. Um, quarter inch airline tubing. I like to use this a lot. If I'm using a guy wire, I'll put my wire through the tubing. I'll cut this off and I'll put my wire through the tubing here and then wrap it around the branch and then use and then pull the branch down and this will protect, protect the branch from getting wire scarring. So that's another valuable um, piece of material that everybody should have in their arsenal. Uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that covered Maybe more than what you wanted to know, or maybe just enough, or maybe even not enough. But that's everything that I have in my arsenal for actually doing bonsai here, and a few like the folding saw that I use when I'm away collecting. Um, this is probably going to be a two or three part series, so next we'll go to what I use when I'm out in the field.